Well, today is the first day of school for students at Gordon Parks Elementary School. In May, officials took away the school's charter, but school officials recently won a court battle to keep the school open. Jenna Hanford is there now with a few more challenges facing that school. Jenna? That's right, Cynthia. But this morning, it was pretty exciting to see all of the students run up these steps and head into Gordon Park Elementary. Uh, late last May, they decided to take away that charter. But about a month ago, they decided that this school could reopen and stay open for kindergarten through second grade. Most of the staff did not return to the school. They were able to hold on to about three teachers from last year and then had to hire new teachers. A total of 80 students are enrolled here. Last year, there were about 240 students that were enrolled. Many of the students at this school, they typically have to overcome very difficult home situations. So many of them don't know when or where they're going to get their next meal or where they'll be picked up to go to school. Today, school was supposed to start at about 8.15. The last bus arrived at 9. School leaders say it's one of the many challenges they face with families in transition. Families who took their kids today say they're happy the school is reopened. I'm glad they're open. I'm glad I was able to get my um, four-year-old in kindergarten. Her birthday is September the 4th, so no one would take her anywhere. She hasn't been in a regular daycare setting or anything, so I need Gordon Park. The president of the school board said that they're hoping that they're going to be able to eventually rebuild the school, get more students, and eventually turn it into a school for kindergarten through fifth grade, which would be an elementary school um, in essence. And so they're hoping that it will grow into that by the end of this year. Reporting live here at Gordon Parks Elementary, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.